Hey guys, it's uh, Paulio Jr. again, and today I wanted to give a quick tutorial on a program uh, from Acoustica, uh, Acoustica.com. It's called MP3 Audio Mixer. Um, one of um, I've actually been using it for a couple of years, and always wanted to do a tutorial on it because it's so easy uh, to use and to navigate. Um, but this is the website you would go to download this. So it, it's you know it's a uh, it's a program to edit um, you know any type of audio that you have. So it's MP3, WMA, WAV, and uh, even uh, uh, real time files too. So you would go here, download it, and I already have it downloaded. So just install it from there, and it actually comes up as Acoustica uh, MP3 Audio Mixer. So that's the program. And I think you get it free for 30 days and then they ask you to purchase it and it's not that much. Um, but I would say it's definitely worth it if you're going to use it all the time just because of how uh, simple and easy the interface is. So this is your, your, this is your, your layout right here. This is what you have to work with. So what we want to do right now is um, we're going to just add some audio files um, to this what they call a sound group dot sgp. So the first one I'm going to add this is actually a uh, beat that I actually uh, purchased a while ago, and I always it always starts out at one. I always drag it to zero just to you know let it start right away, and then it'll play. You know it'll play through in the beginning and so forth so this is just a real simple version the cool thing you can do with the audio is number one um, you can adjust the the volume of the entire um, clip we can I'm, I'm gonna scroll here with the mouse so I'm actually gonna shorten it like that but you know so you have your, your time length up here and then as it's playing you know we can change the the volume as needed and so forth which is a pretty cool feature the one thing that I did used to use this for a couple years ago I actually used to use a rock band microphone USB and what I would do the cool thing is you can record um, over um, the audio file that's in here so I would always do it at the highest Hertz uh, stereo and then with this you would record while playing the sound at the same time so you would you know so you you're hearing the sound and you're recording over it at the same time um, nothing else you really I mean you can do that stuff just to that's just me talking right now if you want to show that um, and so we'll just record over this right now so right now you know I'm hearing this sound coming and I'm just recording over where you see that bar moving right now so from there I would stop I can play record over this right now what I, I can play what I just did and then save it to uh, I'm just saving it to this temporary folder as a test and then so the one that I just recorded my voice I mean there's gonna be a little bit of this in the background right now um, usually you want to have that a little bit lower if you're doing it so record over this right now so right now you know, I'm hearing this sound coming in I'm just recording over so just like that uh, cool thing you can do as well is it's really easy to um, take out the parts that you don't want either by shrinking it like that or also by highlighting it and cutting a part out which is really cool um, we have that you can actually add as many uh, audio files as you want to which is really cool so um, you can do the drag and drop uh, you can do the add sound um, you know I just like to do this so I just got these ones these little free guys off uh, off the internet so we'll play that and then it'll play that in the background I mean that it'll play that you know alongside of it 
and then we'll drag this one up there and you can put them on the different section so it's more organized so now it's playing the explosion one and then it'll play the ray gun you know and I can continue to make that ray gun you know continually go as long as I want to and adjust the volume of that while playing that in the background really really cool feature and like I said it's just it's really cool it's really simple to use too um, so basically um, when you have if you know if you did, if you import a file into here um, what's cool is it'll compress it down to the mp3 or it'll save it as a wave if you want it to be um, uncompressed so if you were if you were say just dabbling in recording songs and so forth um, you would uh, save as you could do WMA MP3 or WAVE. I always do MP3, so I'll just save it as uh, test one and test one, and then it would give you uh, a list of options here on um, you know what the how you know I always you know why not just go with the highest quality all the time, and then you know you would pick. So um, my title would be Tess, the author would be, you know, the artist would be Polio Jr. or whoever, and then you can pick the genre, whatever it is, copyright 2015, save it, and it's usually pretty quick too, um, and I've really never, I've never had this program crash on me, um, which is another benefit to this unlike other programs so this is our so that's the one that we just saved right there which is pretty cool um, the one thing the other thing that's really cool I'm just gonna cut this out um, well I'll show you this too is you can actually like as you get towards the end of a song and you kinda want it to you want it to fade a little bit I think you would yeah, you would like click here or, and then have the volume kind of fade out towards the end as well, which is pretty cool. So it'll just slowly get lower, you know, until we get to the end of the song. Slowly. <laughs> And you can adjust that as you know, as needed, so forth. And then, like I said, you can use the scroll wheel to log on to um, shorten the time length up here, or just see exactly the seconds and so forth. Um, I'm going to cut this one out completely. Um, the next really, really uh, beneficial thing of the of the Acoustica MP3 audio mixer, and it's version 2.471, that's the latest version, is you can import an entire playlist, which is cool. This, I'm not gonna play it, I don't know if that's gonna like do any infringements, but I purchased this, and it came, and I have, so I made it into a, um, a playlist. So this is all the songs from this, uh, from this album. And I can select and unselect all the ones I want to pick, um, and then you can also pick, um, you know, if you want the songs, how the space that you want in between the songs as they play, and this will import into. This is technically one whole file now, so if I were to click, like I said, I don't know what the thing, what the copyright stuff is with um, YouTube, so I'm not going to play it but it would play the first one and then go directly to the second one to the third one so it'll just play it all in a row but you can save this whole um, playlist as one whole um, one file so this entire playlist will save as one file so if you were to you know put this on your phone or something like that I mean I mean, it, it has a beneficial purpose to it, um, where you're not kind of skipping around. You can just 
press it and then it can play. I know you can do that anyway, um, but it's still a cool feature to have. So once that's done, that'll be one single file um, in here. And then I'm just going to cancel that right now because I don't want to watch that go all the way through. But um, so if, if you are working on something and you're you know you're adding different sounds and adjusting different things and you know recording over different um, you know parts of a song or whatever you're trying to do um, you know if you want to you want to save it um, as a sound group and that would just be your um, what I'll just call it default you know so when we close this out and we go back into the folder we open up the default and it's right where everything was before so it's exactly what we were working on and what we want to adjust and so forth um, it's really not like a whole lot more that's really to it it's it's a really simple and self-explanatory uh, program as far as adding um, any kind of you know all the major audio files and uh, cutting them down and making it really easy to cut them down um, even compressing um, you know wave files and stuff like that and like I said it's been around for a while but I think it's still really useful and the quality that comes out of it is really good so I think also if you have um, some kind of audio file that you want to enhance you would import it into here, save it as an mp3, save it at its highest quality and I think it would actually sound a little bit better. Um, so yeah, Acoustica mp3 audio mixer version 2.471 um, that is my quick tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it um, subscribe, like, leave a comment um, if you have any other ones or um, want me to do something else I'd be more than happy to. Thanks guys Yeah. Mm -hmm.